Hello YouTube, welcome one and all, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War mod. We have had some things go on. Italy now controlled Libya. Uh, the Balkan League has been formed, and my gosh, the, Bal the Ottomans are getting royally stomped. They seem to be forming a bit of a resistance now to the onslaught, but I think the damage has already been done. Um... The, well, that has solidified somewhat, rather well, surprisingly. There's a lot, it's a lot more solidified than before, so it could yeah, potentially not be over yet. Very, very, uh, to and fro that war. Historically, Republic of China win. Historically. Um, so I won. Revoke. Vivani administration. Lovely. That would give us building slide and civilian factory. That would... Give us more. No, I need... I need the aircraft thing. Airfield expansion. Ah, oh, I need that first. Do that first, then. Do that. Let's go. So that should be 20th of October. 2nd of October. Yeah, we're doing quite well. We're building, and it's 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 starting to get that snowball effect. Getting more for civilian factories, which are getting more civilian factories out quicker. Will be interesting here. Do not know what the Germans are doing. Britain? Democracy. Yeah. Anti-Serbian policy. Hmm, interesting. How is that war going, by the way? Oh, the Chinese Civil War is going... Ah, we're, we're, oh, oh, a whole bunch of stuff happened. Modify the government. Um... Experience gain. Not sure which one of those. So we got fifty percent. That would still be three hundred and thirty nine days though. Because it is nineteen sixteen. Logistics company, just for the heck of it, just so that I have it. 110 days for the improved infantry equipment. One, which would be lovely. Germans are moving about. It would be interesting, say if I was the Austrian Hungary, to see the Germans actually plan out, put if they've got it in the game, the Germans would actually do the Schlieffen plan. That would be very interesting. I'd like that. I'm just, just curious to see if that would be a thing. Uh, stalemate, isn't it, really? 2% in favour of the defenders, 49% in favour of the aggressors. Nanjing is now the capital for Qing Dynasty. Just realised there's not a river here. Because <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, it's like there's a river apparently 
here. Yeah, this river, I think, goes actually to here or something like that. And it's like 50 miles away from France or something. That's how close as the Germans actually got to Paris. It would, been, would have been an interesting time if they had got to Paris and knocked the French out. Because then the British wouldn't have had anywhere to actually do anything and would have just basically done what Britain usually does, is, which is blockade. It's a lot of conjecture and not really based on a lot of facts, maybe. Oh, that's... The Greeks are in trouble. Oh, the Ottomans. Where the hell are the Serbians here? What the hell are the Serbians doing? Seriously, what are you doing there? You need to go help your Greek allies. Like, really help them. Although, that looks like these guys may be getting cut off. Yeah, that's a very precarious situation they're in. If any one of these units does actually get broken, these guys are going to get cut off. Uh, that's because we've only got 50 points. That's fine. Totally fine. Okay. Research. How are we doing? 66 days before we get a year ahead, uh, which is actually not going to be a year. Is it going to be a year ahead? I think it is going to be a year ahead. Yeah, it's 1914. Which means I probably will go with the early support weapons too as well. Okay, you got done, so I'm instantly going to go airfield expansion. There we go, get more airfields. Please and thank you. Is that what it does? Didn't really look. Yes, we get three more air bases. Lovely! Three air bases. Fantastic. That's what I want. Yeah, we're making that. Uh, we're not making any of those. Oh! Oh, hello! We are being stuck there. Do. Go. They are being stockpiled. I think actually we'll cut down even more. Yeah, now we're going to... Oh, God, only 11 a year. 10 a day. Yeah, let's just try and stockpile as many as we can. We'll have to throw more in. But we're making 2.3. Yeah, there we go. We're still not making any planes. <laughs> we're still not making any airships. Uh, construction is starting to possibly... We should be very soon start to see our production of... Um, military bases. But speaking of which, there we go. Max them out. And then we probably have to do const. Uh, Oh, we're probably got China. End of the Xinhai Revolution. The Civil War in China has ended. The King, the Xing Dynasty has fallen. Wait, what? And the new republic has been proclaimed in this place. Wait, what? No, did it say that? Did it say that? The Xing, yeah, the Xing Dynasty won. Whoops. <laughs> the Xing Dynasty won. Uh, see, these guys are he's still in charge, even though he probably isn't. There's a region in charge, but anyway. They lost, and yet they still won. <laughs> so, already with slight difference variation on the, um, on the history of the world. The Ottomans starting to really hold... Oh, no, these guys are starting to not do so well. We have 72 factories. You know what? I want to cancel this. I want to get starting in construction of my military. Military factories, please, and thank you. Hmm. 
making one siege artillery per week. Lovely. There we go. Now... I'm not happy with that. Yeah, because we'll probably actually... If we have a look at... Ooh, we got a whole bunch of... Uh, still... Our stability could take that hit. It could take it could take that hit. We could do that. Ah, Joseph Joffrey. Visualization and Robert Nouvelle. Division attack. Machine gun team. And improve infantry equipment. Lovely. Got those two bad boys. Right. Infantry. Early support weapons, please and thank you. Yeah, that's 1916. So that we're not researching that. No, we are not researching that. Uh, there was no point. That's two years ahead. I need stuff that will be ready for when the war starts. Don't really need motorized infantry. Cannons? Or the heavy artillery? Cannons or the heavy artillery? You know what? Give me the heavy artillery. Get it done, people. We are at 30%. You know what? Get me that as well. I want us producing those things when war breaks out, not as war breaks out. Uh... Airfield expansion done. Infrastructure effort two. Please and thank you. In January 1913, the Turks, it's still not. Yeah, the Turks are definitely not. They're, they are definitely holding out. They do have Austrian volunteers. Modify the government. We're not going to do that. Free trade. We want to keep the free trade as much as possible. Ah, Persa. There we go. We do that. Mobilization. Because that all of a sudden does this. Lovely. There we go. Construction gates even faster. One point two two a month. It's fine. We're just slowly ticking up our convoys. Um, so normally, is there something skewy with the uh, naval research? I'm beginning to think there is. Unless it automatically updated. Oh well. We'll have to get... I mean there's a lot of them, but they are a bit out of date now by four, three years. Man, more than that actually. Uh, so we're going to have to work on that. Uh... Can I... No, I need 49, 5 points right. So we'll save up our political power to actually hire some generals. I think that's like a good idea, don't you? I think it is. Okay, now... 
A military coup. A military coup took place in the Mexico City led by General Victor Herrera, military commander of the city. Madero was arrested a short time later and sat down along with Vice President Jose Mar. Well. So much for that. So much. <laughs> so much for the uh, Mexican opposition. Uh, well, that happened. Yeah. Suffragette demonstrations. After being disenfranchised for years, the women have begun to take the streets of Washington, D.C. and London, demanding their right to vote. The American president in particular, perhaps on the suggestion of his wife, has already signed their voting rights into law, and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom does not seem long behind. What next? What next indeed? Giving women the right to vote. Huh, <laughs> you won't. What the difference? The friend, the oh. America chooses new freedom. In 1912, Woodrow Wilson ran on the platform of New Freedom, which denounced what Wilson perceived as both Theodore Roosevelt's more paternalistic and collectivist new nationalism, as well as William Howard Taft's conservatism. A Bourbon Democrat, Wilson promised lower tariffs, free trade, and trust break breaking in his speeches. Though the progressive movement would encourage him to enact a more moderate form of pardon me, Roosevelt's proposals through the creation of a Federal Reserve and support for income tax. While some of these policies might be costly in the short term, in the long term they would help both help they would both these in the long term they would both help keep consumers protected from economic recessions and make goods less expensive, satisfying the populace for the moment. This shall stabilize the nation. So Woodrow Wilson, President of the United States. How are you doing there, dear sir? Yeah, this is coming. This is becoming a slog. Absolute slog. And I think the Turks are pushing them back. Just the company is done. Uh, yeah, we're getting those up and running. Do we want to engineer company? It's anything else? Let's get the bison class. Uh, this is available because we got 50 points. It's fine. Ooh. Okay, infrastructure effort really done. There we go. Look at this. Two point three, okay. We may actually start producing fighters in a second, especially since I'm gonna go armament effort two, please and thank you. Decisions available go away. Are the Turks forcing them back? Oof. That is... That is... That's a lot... This whole area of this front is reliant on Thessalonians. Because there is not a port. They have an airfield, I think. Yeah, I think the Turks. This, I think they're trying to push the the Bulgarians back here, which is looking like they're having some sort of success. Oh dear, that's not good. That potentially could be catastrophic for the Ottomans. Oh, they've been surrounded there as well. 
Oh, that's a that's not good. That is quite literally horrendous for the Ottomans. Um, I mean, I could look at what we're doing, but well, all we're doing is researching, building, and producing. That's all we're doing. We're <laughs> doing nothing else. So the the yeah, the Greeks. The Balkan League are ha will have to hold this. They are going to try and hold this for dear life because now the Ottomans are going to be these units. And that's a lot of units. Oh, oh, though we've broken through. Never mind. Serbians have reacted very quickly though. And so have the Bulgarians. Which means these guys are cut off. And all these guys are cut off, so that's a lot of losses. How how bad is that for the Ottomans? That could be quite catastrophic. Oh, insufficient resources. What were we in for sufficient of? Oil! Interesting. Ooh! Hey, United States! Uh... There we go. Do that. Is that because we're now producing planes? It is. We are now producing planes. Lovely. No, I do not need to cut back on those. They're running thingies. Time to create an air wing. <laughs> Hello! Uh, we're gonna set limit. Close air support. Uh, you're just gonna be Northern France for now. Air superior. Oh no, you're close support, so do that. Uh, is that what we're building? Close air support? No, we're building an air fighter. Yeah, yeah. So, we're gonna, yeah, missing equipment production. That's fine. You go there. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, only a day and uh, normal operations. Lovely. Oh, you do not have. You do not have. Uh... There we go. You can bomb. Ooh, armor that effort. Lovely. Uh... Obviously, construction effort, please and thank you. We could. Uh... Not 40% world tension, that's fine. Don't want that, don't want that. Stability. Oh, yes, artillery, dis artillery research. Uh, speed that up. Lovely. Oh, that, yeah, thought so. How, how badly has that turned for the Ottomans? Quite badly. They were, wi they, they'd lost fewer troops than the, um, than the Balkan League, but, uh, that has changed rather badly for the Ottomans. That was, that is a catastrophic defeat they've suffered there. And it's only going to get worse. Because now all these armies that are tied down fighting in Greece are now fighting in um, fighting the Ottomans here. It's not good. By the way, how are you doing, Franz Joseph? What are you doing? Fortify the Dalmatian, uh, Dalmatian coast. Mass production. Something amazing happened as a factory and. On Piquet Avenue, Henry Ford's ambitious desire to make an automobile affordable for any consumer has inspired the assembly line production scheme. 
Though the assembly line has been in use since as far back as the Roman times, Henry Ford's clever use of moving conveyor belts, specialised machines and more specifically skilled workers is close to making his dream a reality. I hope they have one in black. Ah, that's a play on the famous quote, which is, I um, don't know if he actually said it, but he's been quoted as saying, you can have my car in any colour, any colour, as long as it's black. And on that little note, as the Ottomans look at uh, the potential defeat of their nation again, it doesn't bode well for them. We shall end this video. Uh, we are now producing planes. We are producing a lot of planes. 1.68 a week. Lovely. We have more airfields. We can't add a new airing yet. Um, but anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I will see you all in the next videos. Until then, toodles!